Hey everyone, I just got back in, went to a couple appointments and ran a few errands. I heard you all loud and clear, the black Christmas stocking definitely won. So I held on to those over the weekend uh, until I uploaded the video just so that I could see which way you guys were leaning towards. But I had a feeling that you all would lean more towards the black and I personally like the black too. So. We're going to go with the black and I'm going to put those up later today when Sefton uh, gets home from school so he can help me put up the stockings and the rest of the decorations. And um, yeah, I picked up a few other things at Target. Oh, also, I went to a different Target, so I was able to find another one of the ornaments that I got um, that I showed you guys in the last vlog. Um, I only had got three. But I went to another Target and I found another one. So now I have four. And then I just got some PJs for PJ. <laughs> and um, I also found another set of pajamas for Sefton that matches the ones that I got PJ last time. So I'm going to show you guys that stuff here now. And then I got a few other things. So I'll show you all that now. I picked up, like I said, I got another one of those ornaments. And then I also got this for Sethin. Um, shout out to Target for the Black Santa items. So I got Sethin this Black Santa plate and this uh, Black Santa cup so that he can have something festive to eat his snacks and stuff on. He's really like outgrowing this stuff, but he still enjoys it. So I still buy it. But yeah, I just thought this was really cute and festive for the holiday. So I got that for him. And then for myself, I got a new holiday mug. Did not need, but it was so fitting. I had to get it. All mama wants is a silent night. If you're a mom of a newborn, you know what I'm saying. And then I also found him a set of pajamas like his brother, the Cat and Jack set, set that I showed you guys. His was $10 and it's literally the same exact one. So I got one for Sefton and now they can match. Cause you guys know I'm all about the matching. And then I also got PJ, a black Santa little fleece onesie. I've been trying to find this black Santa one for him, but my target was out of them. So this target that I went to today, they had them and I got it for him in a size nine months. So now he has his Christmas pajamas and it says my first Christmas right there, which I thought was super cute. And then I just got Seth in a few long sleeve like thermal shirts because it's getting really cold here so i got them a white i got them a black and then i got them a red just you know because it's festive and you know he can wear this to school if they have like some type of christmas something i think they're having like a christmas party right before he goes on christmas break so he can wear that so yeah that's what i picked up from target and I'm going to go now um, because we got a lot to do today. We got to get all the Christmas um, decorations put up because I promised Sefton that we would do it today. So he is going to come through the door ready. So I got to get that stuff ready for him. And so we're just going to have a festive little evening, put the Christmas decorations up, put our garland on the fireplace, put our stockings up and, you know, things like that. So, yeah, once I get the stockings hung, I'll share that with you guys. All right, guys. So here are the stockings. Um, I need to go and get two more of these hooks. I thought I bought four last year, but I guess I only bought two. So I need to get two more so that I can put them on that side of the fireplace. But I think the black was the right decision. I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really nice. So now PJ and I are going to walk to Sefton school to drop off his water bottle because he left it at home this morning and it's almost his lunchtime. So I want to make sure he has some water so that he can stay hydrated throughout the rest of the day. So, so yeah, I just got PJ in his stroller and it's a nice little walk. I mean, it's not far, but 
I didn't go to the gym today um, just because I had some other stuff that I needed to do, but I'm going tomorrow and the next day. So I'll be able to make up my training sessions that way. But I had some stuff around the house that I wanted to get done. And so, yeah, that's going to be my little workout for the day. So we're going to walk to Sefton School and come back home. And then I need to go to the grocery store. And I think that's pretty much it for this morning. As you can see, a little bit of our tree here. Um, that's Sefton's gingerbread that he made. Um, he has two of them. He made one for himself and one for his brother. So I just need to grab like a large Ziploc bag so I can write his name on it and give him his water bottle. So yeah, let's go. All right, everyone. So I'm back from the grocery store now and I thought I would show you guys how I make uh, cinnamon apples in the crock pot. We love apples around here and I've been promising to make <laughs> a few uh, apple recipes that I do every year. And so this one uh, specifically Sefton requested. So I'm gonna make this for him while he's at school. And I promised him that when he got home, it would be ready. So I gotta get cracking because it takes like two hours <laughs> for these two be ready so anyway all you need is some apples um, I just grabbed this bag of uh, Honeycrisp apples from Kroger you need some butter cinnamon brown sugar and um, I'm gonna use a little bit of cane sugar And so that's everything that you need to get started. Um, and I am just going to use this uh, to slice the apples. This is my um, apple slicer, but first I gotta peel them. Well, first I gotta wash, wash them and then I'll peel them and then slice them and add them to the crock pot. So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. And I'll just let you guys watch me prepare. I have two apple slicers so but I like the red one the red one is stronger than this one I think I got this one from like the Dollar Tree or something like that so it's not as heavy duty as that one but it's still good just gonna use this bowl to mix everything
It's recording. Hi. <laughs> All right, so our cinnamon apples are ready. This one is Sefton's. This one is mine. I just added this oat-based whipped topping to it. So good. You can also add like nuts to it if you want to, but I'm just gonna eat mine like this. And yeah, that's our little apple recipe. Um, I do have another one that I'm gonna share with you all probably in the next vlog. So yeah, that is going to do it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you on my next one. Bye.